Hello everyone, today we are presenting our graduation project, the Spherical Rolling Robot. Our team consists of Mohamed El Saqqa and me, Firas Kiki. Our supervisor is Professor Chatai Bashdoan. There are two main advantages of using a spherical rolling ro robot. The first one is that all internal components are shielded from environmental effects such as a dust and moisture. More importantly, we have spherical symmetry, which means that the robot doesn't have a specific orientation. Namely, we don't have a thing called upside down for the spherical robot, which means that it never can get stuck in a corner or land upside down, which is usually a problem when using traditional wheel-based rolling robots. Our design is fairly simple. For going forward and backward, we are using two DC motors. And for tilting, we are using a pendulum that shifts the center of mass using a servo motor. After the derivation of the equations of motion, we can see two interesting things. The first one is that there is actually a theoretical maximum limit on the acceleration that the robot can have. And the second one is a design equation which shows us how much torque the DC motors should have in order to overcome the rolling uh, inertia as well as the uh, friction force from the ground. As for the tilting and steering modeling, we see that again when shifting the pendulum the center of mass will shift which would cause a torque and we can see the equation that relates how much shifting the angle and the mass and the length of the pendulum affect the total torque that would cause a rotation and here we can see in the CAD environment how rotation is supposed to happen. Also there is another important fact about or another important advantage of using a pendulum which is basically adding stability. We can see from the video on the left that without the pendulum we don't have that much of inertial resistance of the internal components which means that the DC motor will cause their rotation about themselves which is actually a problem. But when using the, DC, when using the pendulum we avoid such a problem. And another uh, good thing about the pendulum is that it forces the center of mass to be at the center which gives stability against outside disturbances. To control our robot, we are using a simple mobile app that connects to the robot using a simple uh, Bluetooth module. Here we see a close-up look of how our mechanism is working. Here we see that the DC motors are going forward and the mass is shifted using the pendulum using the servo motor. Now we will be showing examples of demonstration of our project. First we will start by simple motion in a straight line as we see in these two videos that the robot can achieve this motion without much of trouble. Now in the second video we see that the ground beneath it is actually very hard to navigate because of these bumps but we see that still the robot could go through it although like it lost some stability. The robot can also go in a curvilinear motion and basically make circles as we see here. Now using again the mobile app we can change the radius of rotation as we will see now. And in this close up look we see how the effect of using the pendulum is rotating the spherical robot. The robot can also move in a way to avoid obstacles as we see here. Thank you for listening. We hope it was informative.